Good morning, good morning. This is uh, Brother Wes. Uh, this Monday morning, I uh, greet you in the name of the Lord. Uh, I'm at the, um, the uh, therapy place, the rehab place with my um, son Daniel. He's getting ready to do some more therapy. He's getting ready to do some walking. He's going to do some walking. And uh, interesting, uh, yesterday um, he did some walking. He did some walking. He walked up the hill. He walked out the door, out of the house, a house door for the first time in a long time. And that was an accomplishment. But it was interesting, interesting. Uh, the whole time he was walking, he was afraid. And God was speaking to me for that, speaking to me for that. And, and the, the message that I will speak to you today is that face, face your fears. Face your fears. Regardless of how afraid you are, face them, face them, and trust God through those fears and replace those fears with faith. See, because a lot of times, a lot of times, Things that we do that are exciting, things that we do are challenging, things that we do or do for the first time. So there, there comes a sense of fear when you're afraid. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid you're going to be embarrassed. You're afraid you're not going to say the right things. You're afraid you're not qualified. All those things, all those things are natural feelings. But don't allow those feelings and allow fear to grip your heart. And stop you from doing what you need to do. Keep pushing forward, even with Daniel, even though he was afraid. Even though he was afraid of falling. All of that, he kept on walking. He kept on walking. And so, my word to you today, when you get in those situations where you're afraid to walk, because you're afraid you're going to fall, keep on walking. Because you never know. If you keep on walking, if you trust God, he will carry you. He will catch you. See, the thing about it, you never know how much strength you have until it's, until you use it. A lot of times you're saying you're weak, but you're actually strong. It's because your strength has been used. That's why you feel weak. See, but you're not weak at all. The fact that you keep fighting, the fact that you keep doing what you're doing to persevere, the fact that you keep fighting to live, fighting to overcome, fighting to become successful, fighting to reach your maximum, fight, fighting to fulfill your dreams, that means you're moving, and that's a good thing. That means you're defeating your fear. See, because God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he's given us power. And in that power, there's an ability, there's a know-how. See, God has given you the know-how on how to overcome. You've already overcome, because Jesus already come, but you have the know-how in you. Remember this. Remember this. You can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. Don't look at the fear, because even in the Bible, when uh, Moses had sent the spies out to spy the land, 10, 10, 10, 10 people came back with a, a, a report, evil report of fear. But there was two that came back with faith. And the ones that came back with faith, they saw their promise. But the ones who came back speaking fear, they didn't make it. Don't let this be you. Don't let fear cut you off. Don't let fear cut you off from your purpose, cut you off from your happiness. If you can take it, you can make it. Face your fears.